Let's fix memory dump problem on Roblox. In the first step, we need to close the game completely. So right click on the taskbar and select task manager. Then find out a Roblox game client and choose end task. Once done, close this window. Now press Windows key plus R key together to open run. And simply type here percent local app data percent and select OK. Once we are here, we need to find out the temp folder. Here we go, open it and then we need to just delete all these folders uh, with the Roblox also. So delete, right click on them and choose delete. Select skip and then there we go. Now close this window. Once done, we need to press again open run. Then type your services.msc and then select OK. Once we are here, we need to find out the uh, sysmen or superfetch. Here we go. Right click on it, open its properties, then set startup type as disabled and then apply and then OK. And you need to stop these services. Once done, again we need to find out the background intelligent transfer services. Uh, select stop say disabled apply and then ok once done close this window again open run this time we need to type here reach 18 open it and from here just uh, go for hk local machine expand system folder then go for current control set here we go and then open control folder here we need to find out the session manager here we go expand this after that find out the memory management here we go simply just select it on the right side uh, from clear page file at shutdown double click on it and set the value data as one select ok now close this window now open google chrome Go, go for settings once we are here we need to select the privacy and security and then from the delete browsing data we need to set all time set browsing data uh, uncheck this option and check for cookies and other site data select uh, delete data and once done simply you need to uh, go for the CMD right click on it and choose run as administrator simply type your sfc space slash scan now and hit enter this will take around four to five minutes to complete the process depends upon your computer configuration how fast it is and then restart your system and your problem will be fixed that's it guys you're good to go